Starting in 2026, Formula One is entering a new era where energy management will dominate races, active aerodynamics will play a bigger role, and a new system will assist overtaking. These changes come from the hybrid power unit revolution and higher electrification, completely reshaping how battles on track unfold. The V6 engine remains at the heart of the car, paired with a hybrid system that loses the MGUH but keeps the MGUK, which now delivers nearly triple the power, about 480 horsepower. Combined with the internal combustion engine, peak power can exceed 1,000 horsepower, but the battery is limited to just 4 megajoules, so drivers must carefully recharge on track. They'll manage energy via steering wheel settings like recharge for battery recovery and boost mode for aggressive use, making simulator preparation crucial. The ECU can't suddenly cut more than 200 horsepower above 210 km per hour, and total cuts are capped at 600 kilo. Battery recharge and energy recovery are also limited, with adjustments allowed for each circuit. Active Aero will open front and rear wings on all straights to reduce drag, improving efficiency rather than directly aiding overtakes. Overtake Mode, a new system, gives attackers up to 320 extra horsepower between 290 and 355 km per hour, provided they stay close enough and have enough battery energy. Finally, success comes down to hardware and software. Teams must balance efficiency and weight, with batteries and MGUK units heavier than before. Even a single percentage point in hybrid efficiency matters, affecting cooling, aerodynamics, and overall performance. Throughout the season, energy management systems will evolve, and driver skill will be key in maximizing performance on every track.